Welcome to Race Tech TV and uh, today I'm joined by Lake Speed of uh, Driven Racing Oils. Um, you tend to think of, uh, of oils as being sort of engine oil, um, maybe transmission fluid, but um, today we're going to talk about uh, shock fluid, which is your, your new product. Exactly, yeah. Most people do think of motor oil when they think of racing oil, first thought. Um, but yeah, shock fluid is a very important part because you know, most race cars do have dampeners on them. So having shock absorber fluid is a key thing. And the key thing most people think of when it comes to shock absorber fluid is viscosity change with temperature. Because mm -hmm. obviously as the viscosity changes of the fluid, it changes the performance of the shock, right? It, the lower viscosity is more flow, you get more bleed, so that changes a lot of things. But viscosity changes not only with temperature, it also changes with shear. So there's kind of this double-edged sword that if you put more viscosity index improver additives, because viscosity index is kind of a oil geek's way of saying a higher viscosity index means less viscosity change with temperature. The only problem is viscosity index improvers have more viscosity change, more shear mm -hmm. thinning. So if I rely heavily on viscosity index improver to have a high viscosity index, then I've inherently created a lower shear stable shock fluid, so my viscosity changes more mm. with shear. So there's kind of this double-edged sword of which way do I go? I want a high viscosity index, but I don't want my fluid shearing and changing viscosity dramatically you know, under shear. Um, it was a lesson we learned the hard way through our motocross program where you have extremely long shock travels. So your velocities are extremely high and they do all kinds of strange things. Yeah. So what's the alternative then? If you're, if you're trying to get over the problems of, uh, of shear, but you still want to keep a consistent viscosity? The, the key answer to that question is you have to be very selective in the base stocks you use so that you have a high viscosity index inherent in the base oil because yep. a base oil itself is what we call a Newtonian fluid. It's mm -hmm. the viscosity is independent of shear. You can high speed, low speed shear forces, the viscosity is the same. Yep. So if I can build a fairly high, not, maybe not the highest, but a high viscosity index just on base oil characteristics, then I can kind of try to balance those two things out. I'm maintaining my viscosity regardless of shear. That way my dampening performance is not dependent upon, you know, this corner or that corner or this bump or that bump. Yep. It, basically, you're taking the fluid variable out and handing it back to the engineer to let him control what he wants the dampener to do when. All fluids do change viscosity with temperature, so everyone's stuck with having yep. to deal with it to some degree. We're just taking out the shear variable mm -hmm. with the SHX fluid. So so far, it's been very well received. It's been uh, several years in development of testing, trying to figure out what's the right way to do this, because most routes people have gone is higher viscosity index, and everybody tends to end up in the same place. Yep. This is swimming a different way, so it behaves differently. In fact, uh, one of the shock engineers, when we first tested it, he said, hmm, this is interesting. I said, was it good? He said, I don't know. <laughs> it's just interesting. It's different. Yep. But with enough development, we were able to turn different into a positive. Yeah. So is this applicable for, for you know, all types of racing, or is it aimed at a particular market? Basically, it's all types of racing. I mean, we, we, we've seen benefits uh, testing in, you know, motocross applications, you know, NASCAR applications, open wheel applications. Basically, anywhere where you have a dampener and you're trying to control the performance of the dampener over a range of temperature, over a range of time, over a range of shear rates, yep. this fluid gives the engineer more control than other fluids do over time. Fantastic. Uh, thank you very much, Lake Speed. This has been uh, Chris Pickering and Lake Speed for Race Tech TV. Thank you.